Christ is risen. Good morning. It's Father Gabriel Weller at Holy Murbarius Orthodox Church here in Cross Keys, where the cross is the key to your salvation. And I wanted to give you an update uh, on our building progress thus far. Uh, we've finally got uh, our ground all seeded. We're doing some watering right now. Our parking lot, we got a lot of that cleaned up. We still have some materials there in the back. That'll be our, our portico. We're going to have a, a post and beam porch, basically, a portico over the entrance. And uh, if you have any experience with that, come help me. <laughs> Give me a call. Let me know. Because we can certainly use any volunteers that uh, have experience with that. <clears throat> Grass is, uh, we bought some sod to put around the church. That's looking uh, very green. Up in the far corner is going to be our playground equipment. I uh, told the church that I think that we need to spend some money on our youth because that's the future of our church. And uh, we're gonna, we have purchased, ordered a commercial grade uh, playground equipment and swings. That uh, was fairly pricey. And uh, I didn't want us to cut any corners. We want safety and again, something to keep our kids occupied when they come here or if they come during the week for maybe with their parents to choir practice or whatnot. So uh, keep us in your prayers. We'll continue to raise money. Uh, like I said, uh, playground equipment, uh, commercial grade, <laughs> is not cheap. But uh, we had budgeted a little bit of that money, but uh, we're a little bit short on that. But we'll continue to press on. Let's take a look inside. We haven't quite uh, finished out the narthex as we'd like to. We're gonna need to put some shelves up for for uh, things for sale, and of course our candle stand is over here. And our trapeza tables and chairs, and of course our kitchen back there, serving tables. The St. George is keeping an eye on things here. Then across the hall, we have our educational wing. We've got two classrooms uh, framed in as of now, but we have the ability to make another two classrooms when the need arises. We have this set up now. We have our uh, catechism classes in here and sisterhood meeting was here on Sunday uh, discussing items and of course, uh, my office right now is full of tools. Thank God for that. <clears throat> Let's take a look into the uh, nave. Got big doors. Matusko is able to find these rugs on Wayfair. And uh, they blend very well with our icons and our wall collar, the iconostas, we put an oak uh, plywood up for that. The uh, deacon door was one that we had at All Saints in North America in Middlebrook. And uh, it, they were painted gold back then, so we have one more door we need to take down and sand and, and get set up for that. But you can kind of get a feel for the space. Our choir course is up in the uh, loft there. We'll take a look at that in a second, too. Our wood floor is ash, solid ash. It was donated from a farm in Middlebrook. We took it to the sawmill and had it milled. This is our vestry area. We've got our cabinets in. We have our sink, which uh, they call it a daylight drain. Basically, it goes out into... Uh, outside uh, dug French drain and then into a retention pond. So vestments hung. Still got a little bit more work to do in here as well. <clears throat> and our altar area, we continue to, to work on that as we uh, make time.
as we continue to try to get ready for <laughs> one day having a great consecration of the church, it's it's down the road quite a ways. We have many, many more things to do, and everything costs money, of course, and your prayers are very coveted. If you'd like to make a financial donation, you can go to holymer.org, and you can find ways to donate to help us out to try to get to that. This is our, our choir area. You see our chandelier? And then uh, behind the choir we have a mechanical room, which will be also some area for maintenance and whatnot. We'll put some shelving back here. We've got three big area handlers in here. Well, glory to God. <laughs> We're at the end of May, and um, we hope to start uh, finishing, well, first we're going to finish our trim. We've got a little bit more trim work to do. We have all the trim to do on the Conestos yet, uh, which will take place sometime. And then to install that portico. We need to get busy with that before uh, the wood gets warped and whatnot. It's all treated lumber, pine. Uh, came from a local uh, log home company here in town. But uh, again, if you can, if you have any experience putting up post and beam structures, let me know. It's not a huge thing. I believe it's 12 by 20. Something like that. But keep us in your prayers. Go to holymur.org. And again, I'm Father Gabriel. Pray to God for us.